Right people, welcome to Fix and Strip It. Um, now you saw that haul I got the other day. Took the, some nice gear to fix. <laughs> some of it's mine, some of it's to fix. Um, I was cracking on with it <laughs> this morning. I thought, hang on, I'm not videoing this. That's just life, isn't it? The Tanika hedge cutters, uh, the spark plug was US in it, so they were never going to fire up anyway. Um, it needed a car clean, which I've done. And um, there was some outside the petrol cap was split. Now, fortunately for him, oh, yeah, I've got one that fits it perfectly, it's okay, so I'll show you that in a minute. I also got the still out and put petrol in it and the petrol was pouring out of somewhere so I took the petrol back out of it. I took the cover off it and I found out where it's coming out so well, I think hopefully that's all that's wrong with that one. So what I'll do is I'll uh, show you this, the tannical one working and um, yeah, we'll crack on with the other one. Yep. There's a tonica one. Um, I've given it a bit of a clean but it needs a bit more. But um, basically, now it didn't work when it came in. Turn it on, there's no bubble on these things. Give it some chuck. You pull the, press the button and. smoky because the petrol that was in it got too much oil in it. I, should, I took as much as I could out so it needs to burn it off a bit but works perfectly well that, no problem. Right, now these still things. Let me see if I can get you in a bit closer. Show you what show you the Bring you right down. Right, looking at the filter, I'm going to end up getting in one of them because that's not very good. Um, but fuel line is bust, <laughs> it's not even in the tank, so that was never going to fire up, was it? So what I'll do is I'll replace them fuel lines, I mean, you've seen me do them enough times. What I want to do is I want to replace the fuel line, see if it fires up. If it fires up, then you can see where the petrol poured out everywhere they're off with it. Um, if it fires up, then great, I'll give it a good clean and um, give it a new spark plug. Um, I just don't really give it a tidy up. But, uh, what is it? I don't know. It's it somewhere, doesn't it? Where's the pull cord? HS74. Quite an old one, right? But should 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 be good. Everything else is working on it, like. Got a couple of tweaks stuck in it, like. Um, but what I'll do is I'll change the fuel lines, and we'll see if it'll fire up. Yep. Right. Let me see if I can get that. Out of there. Push it Playing hardball. The fuel line must still be in the plastic. There we go. That fuel line was a bit tight to get in. Well, it's the it's not, 
you can see it, but give it a second. The overflow, the, the fuel line itself, the fuel line is fine after it. I checked it off camera, I thought it was just hanging onto the tank, but it weren't. It was fine, and the filter itself looks pretty clean, so I'll just put a new overflow pipe on. Um, the, the fuel line was supplied by Stumper. Um, just before I, when I was doing videos, and then I stopped. So when I stopped, while I stopped um, doing videos, a parcel come through the post, and it was from Stumper. He sent me a load of fuel line. Um, I'll show you briefly. And uh, I said it would come in handy, Stumper, and it has today, just to sort that problem out. So the fuel cap on this as well. That's that's well tighter that is. Put it back in for now though. Um, the fuel cap on this, where is it? I'm not even going to attempt to to weld that. Um, not in a steel anyway. Um, it's just not worth the hassle. Uh, where does this go? Oh, yeah. Um, before I put it back on, I'm going to give it a good clean because it's a mess. So I'll give it a wash and then I'll come back to you. Right, people, give it a clean. It's got a couple of marks here that I just can't get off. I don't know what's caused them, but um, I've even tried a bit of acetone on it. Um, but if you're going to use acetone, make sure you're well ventilated, like it, uh, it's not good for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame they marked some car. I could persevere, but it's not my machine, and not that fast. Let's change the tune. Let's see what? Let's see if we can get this back on. So you can see what I'm doing. Just feeding the boot plug for a separate. Would have been easy with that half actually. Now can we just take this back off? Should just slot in there. That's it. Through it. Make sure that's all right, like I said. Yeah. Um, where did I put all the bolts? <laughs> I put them somewhere safe. Yep, there's that. This is a torque. Where did it? There you go. There's your bones. Uh, can you see that? Do we know what it is yet? <laughs> just loosely tighten the front one just to hold it in place. Give that a scrub while I've got it off as well. Let's give it a wipe with some WD-40, that'll tidy it up. I'm going to fully clean them before they go back anyway. I want to make stuff look clean.
Bring it over here. Easy listening. Let's get that in place. Not over tight it just yet. That is going in. Put them in for now. That's it. That's not doing anything. Them three there, one on the front. If you turn the machine on its side, there's uh, that's a little way to check them out. Put them back in. I'm not sure why I took them out, but I'll put them back in anyway. I think when I was trying to take the top off. I uh, didn't look for the one on the front and thought these were like, you know, plastic lugs that were holding it, holding it on, so pinch that one up. Should be one more. <laughs> be interesting to see if this fires up now. But the petrol was pouring out all over the place, so. Tighten there. Just enough. That was out. That was out. Put this back on. see the colour of the fuel that's come out of that but it's minging <laughs> yeah. get some light on the subject that's a fuel engine it's uh, definitely no good and it reeks so uh, I'm not putting that back in it so if you just bear with me, I shall sort some fuel out. Um, I'm going to have to take it out of another machine actually because I've run out, so I won't be sick. Right, it's back together. Did anybody spot the deliberate mistake I made there? <laughs> well, I'm saying it's deliberate, all right. Um, the boot plug I put coming out of that hole, it's supposed to come out the top and clip on it. <laughs> So I've had to take it back apart and put it back together again, but that's the life. 
That spark looks pretty nice. 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 Somebody's had a tinker with it. Make sure I don't cross thread this. Lovely jubbly in it goes. I should give it a pinch up. Put that on there. Right now this cap, like I say, it's um, split, but I'm just going to use it for petrol don't splash around all I want to see is if it starts if it starts I'll order a new cap um, that's if it even bothers to screw on I think it does well the right cap there There's two of them look at two of his machines I'm sure that was off the Tannica though it was off this that's the one off the Tannica The, uh, yeah, tighten up enough. See if we can get it to start. Where's the bubble on this? Hold on a bit. Put this back on. That's that one. Fuel in there, so let's have a go here. Uh, stop his parts on. Uh, is that chuck? I think so, yeah. Just the overflow, not the actual fuel line itself. I check the fuel line, the fuel line um, into the car box. It's, it's okay. It looks like some Tannica in it, but couldn't, didn't quite finish it. Like the Tannica, that's good to go. So that's just still the. So I've still got this still strimmer, which is an FS66. I don't know what's wrong with that. Uh, and then this old, this old bid here. <laughs> it's an FS36, that one. That's well old, that is. I can see one of them for years. This is something else. One, two, three, four. Oh, and then two, two mowers are, are in the back. They're just in the shed out there. Like two mowers can't be bothered with them. I'll probably give it a more light to be quite honest. But anyway, just a short one, just to show you that. Tannica's working and what was wrong with that still. Um, so nothing basically. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like, subscribe if you fancy it, and ding ding, hit the bell. Catch you in the next one, folks. And Stumpy, by the way, thanks for the fuel line. It's coming right handy today, mate. You're a star. <laughs>